Hey gents, this is Dean, and I uh, watched Max's video again, for it's been a long time, and um, got inspired to look at his nice arrows. He also talks about them, but I just tried to uh, find every measured move, and also because of Ben's um, swing trade post, which I thought was really good, and I wasn't uh, trading or looking anymore at the market for the last half of it or so but in hindsight i also saw this one with the uh, fibonacci and that it retraces nicely in this zone and i think also with the order flow um 1900 um so that would be somewhere at the iron so here those are these three bars and um, if you already know that this is the zone and it's a potential good swing because it's not up in the range yet so it turned in the middle and we're most likely going up and since it is a swing we can be wrong sometimes um, so i would have been looking to um to buy somewhere in here ema is already above sma so that's okay and then these bars we don't know how these form now but like on this bar, for sure, you cannot just go in blindly, right? On this first bar. Um, I mean, I know uh, Ben looked for the probably like the tail to let it pull back or like Pikachu in the end. So entered above here. And that's, I think, uh, very good from the risk to reward. It's like one, two, two and a half points or so. And you can win up to like only if you go only till here, it's maybe one to one a bit more. So that's that's OK, I guess. But you could go up to the range top. Um, so again, so let's say we you look at the order flow at the same time. You see this one. No, I mean you cannot enter. <laughs> Just one bar, very quick, probably. But then the next bar, there's lots of absorption down here. The problem is it breaks. It ends below the absorption, so it's not absorbed in this sense. But it took a lot of contracts to go through here, right? So something is uh yeah happening, and we we are within the zone so let me just get that on here plus we want we think it the bias is up because we didn't uh, touch the range top yet so all in all this would already be a, a, a spot where i would look if there is going to be in the next bar more absorption in these levels i mean we can just enter and and take our what would that be around one two points Again, from if I entered here, right on the 50, because that's roughly where it's a bit above, actually, where the new big, big absorption happens. So again, I don't know how this bar formed. Uh, so that's a problem. But yeah, I, there is a possibility that this could also be an order flow entry for a swing, not for a scalp. Um, so then, yeah, we would have one, two, around two points risk. And so my first target would be at the minus 23.6. Um, but mostly I also try to look for the measured moves <laughs> and this measured move I mean ends exactly at the range top that I drew here um, yeah so that would have been a freaking perfect target and also it looks as if it happened very quickly so then there is like uh, what is it 96 to uh, so 8 points to 2 points so that's pretty nice so yeah well done there nice um, so what I want to say about the measured moves is I just try to put every measured move and see what, you know, what happens. So here we already suspect, okay, there's a range here, right? Probably. Um, so here we probably would think maybe it comes up to here again. But I mean, if it doesn't, let's just draw this. It's just in hindsight now. Ah, okay, so this target here, and it overshoots a little. Okay, fair enough. Goes down again. I mean, here we could even also try just like these arrows, man. I mean, yeah. It again overshoots it a little bit and turns back up again. Then here we have this magenta one, magenta. Um, yeah. I mean, nice measured move. Shoots, overshoots a little, turns down. Here, now, this is kind of an interesting one because here this is a big downpour, right? And a measured move target would be down out of uh, out of sight here, here, right? Probably closing the gap nearly. Not sure. 
Anyway, Wolfie down here, it tries to go down, and then it tries it again. And I think this is really, this is really cool that you see because normally, you know, here it hit its target, overshot it, and went down again. You know, here same thing, overshot it, went down again. Here, didn't reach target, tried again. It didn't just go back up again and made the, the little dance of the range. No, it tried. Then it failed. Then it was okay. Let's go. And then our we are back at our swing. Um, and here also one measured move. Mac says it's a two-legged correction in here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then um, this target is just perfect. So this is for me like the takeaway of this range day. It's just pretty beautiful actually. Um, to see these measured moves and that they can actually help. For example, here I did a mistake because I thought, oh yeah, okay, so we come back up here uh, in this region. We come back up. I was pissed that I couldn't take this one because that would be exactly a similar trade to that one, right? So we draw the fibs, it's exactly here, right? And it's a failed breakout below that range. So this would be a very very good swing again and you see where the 23 this target will be at the top like next high and then maybe if we have the balls we could even shoot for the measured move um but the problem is this bar formed so quickly and i missed it and i thought oh that would have been so beautiful that's how it is and just with one bar i cannot look at order flow and enter with one bar there you will probably need the order book then right um, where was I? Yeah, so the mistake I did then was we arrived up here and I thought, okay, target hit, and I didn't have the measured move. Uh, I didn't do max style arrows or anything like this. I was still a bit confused, like, where is the range top actually? You know, like here it was here, then suddenly this overshot, here it overshot a bit. Um, so, yeah, so. So then it finally hit here and I thought, okay, nicer, nicer, that is the top. Um, and then we saw a, a, a TTT because there is a ooh, uh, and, uh, A, B, C, D, E, and they got trapped here. Um, I thought, you know, and this bar finish is nice and bearish. I thought, oh yeah, TTT, you know, I should take TTT to have something to to brag about that we have TTT so yeah and that turned against me I mean the idea was not bad that we actually hit the range top so we could be on our way or most likely are on our way back down again but if we only hit the range top once it is it's it's a bit dangerous to take just the next you know the way down only because it happened here yeah but it's safer to to wait for a confirmation of like a failed you know nice would be here we got a somehow failed two-legged pullback that, that would then be a good reversal but just to reverse right away on the first possible uh, you know lower high or whatever it's basically a lower high and we just invented ttt to make it credible for us so oh uh, yeah good lesson there and most of all, if you have the measured move, you need to be really, or I would have been really suspicious. Say, wow, wow, why, why didn't it, uh, not even try, you know, not that it didn't hit, because it doesn't need to hit it if maybe the range top is too strong, like down here, the range bottom is too strong. Um, but it tries again. And here, I mean, that would be pretty weak ass, you know, price is just like once, okay, goodbye. Didn't hit my target, eh, give up. No, like, we, you know, it would be more likely, I think, that they try again and maybe if then they if then they fail and make lots of little, you know, chugs here on this range and then a TTT forms, you know, then I think that's the point to take the TTT down, not just that's too dangerous. That's just too dangerous, more or less, not a blind reversal but close to it. So yeah. That was a bit gunslinger style here. <laughs> cool. So yeah, that that's all. That's all. Just some observations that I like. Have a great day, everyone.